Hi everyone, Bethany and Deepa here from the Cognito Forms team. In this video, we will be walking through our admissions application template. This template provides colleges with an end-to-end -end application that streamlines the entire admissions process, from the student submitting an application to the admissions team coming to a final decision. With the pre-built workflow, admissions officers can efficiently interact with one another and communicate decisions about student admission with the university's academic departments and applicants. In this workflow, we currently have four roles, the student, which is the public role, the assigned admissions officer, which is the internal role, the admissions officers, and the academic department, which are both other roles. Now, Let's take a deeper dive into this form's workflow. When students first access the application, it brings them to the welcome page. Students begin by filling out the application with their background information, demographics, family background, educational history, academic performance, extracurriculars, and a written statement. Once the student clicks Submit, the status changes to Awaiting Admissions Officer Review, and both the student and their assigned admissions officer receive a confirmation email. From here, the admissions officer will make a decision. If they can directly admit the student without any input from additional staff, they will select Admit, provide their reasoning for the decision, and click Send admissions decision to student. This changes the status to decision sent to student. If the admissions officer is either unsure about admission or believes the student should be denied, they'll be asked to select which staff member or members they need additional input from. Academic department can be selected if the student applied with a program that requires additional review or approval. Similarly, additional officers can be selected if the assigned officer is either looking to deny the student or needs additional assistance making a decision. Once Send Input Request is clicked, the status changes to Additional. If Academic Department is chosen, using the shared workflow link, they will view the assigned admissions officer's notes from before, enter their comments, select their decision, and provide their reasoning. Once they click Notify Admissions Office of Decision to submit their input, the status changes to Admissions Office Final Action Required and the Assigned Admissions Officer is notified via email. On the contrary, if additional officers are chosen, each officer will use their shared workflow link to view the assigned officer's notes from before and then click on Add Vote to begin entering their comments. Once all additional staff members submit their input and click Notify Admissions Office of Decision, the status changes to Admissions Office Final Action Required and the assigned officer is notified again via email. Using the shared workflow link from their email, the assigned officer will then review all input to update their official decision and provide any additional comments before sending it off to the student. After the assigned admissions officer presses Send Admissions Decision to Student, if the officer denies admission, the application status automatically changes to Application Closed and the student is sent an email notifying them. Otherwise, if the officer admits the student, the status changes to Decision Sent to Student, and the student receives a congratulations email with a shared workflow link. Using that link, the student will access the Final Student Decision page and provide their final decision regarding their enrollment. If the student declines the offer, the status automatically changes to Application Closed and they receive a confirmation email. If they accept, once they click Send Decision to Admissions Office, the status changes to Needs Processing. 
the assigned admissions officer is notified via email. From here, they can review the student's decision and mark the application as processed. Once complete is clicked, the application status changes to application closed and the workflow is complete. There are so many different ways you can customize this template to fit your needs. The pre-built conditional logic can easily be customized as you see fit. Firstly, you can use it to only show a field when certain criteria are true, as shown here. You can also use it to dictate which email notification to send out based on another field. For example, a different email is sent to the student based on the assigned admissions officer's final decision. Lastly, you can even use conditional logic to automatically change an entry status. The lightning bolt signifies that conditional logic is being used to automatically change the status. The college programs that students can select are being pulled from the college program lookup form, which you can easily customize to include your university's specific programs. You can assign a single admissions officer or the specific academic department to a student's entry based on things like major or state of residence. This can help you better organize the applications as they are submitted by directly routing them to the correct admissions staff member. You can also add or remove requirements to the admissions officer checklist or even adjust the student snapshot items. Also, don't forget that you can always add, delete, and change any of the steps in the workflow. At the end of the day, the entire form is extremely customizable. It's quick and easy to adapt any section, page, or formatting feature to best suit your needs. If you have any questions about setting up or customizing this template, please visit our user guides to learn more. Our customer support team would also be happy to assist you with any questions.